Have you ever wondered why in Generation 2, Gold, Silver, and Crystal, that there's only one place in the whole of Johto and Kanto that you can breed Pokemon? I can tell you why, but I warn you, you may not like what you hear. Especially if you feel particularly attuned to the suffering of animals in our own world. With that out of the way, I shall begin. A lot of emphasis was put on Team Rocket's little science experiment at the Lake of Rage, and soon after that their takeover of the Radio Tower. And all the while, they had already set up a much larger, but more secretive operation. You see, the daycare man and his wife were not the first to discover Pokemon had laid eggs. This was the first discovery of a lowly Rocket grunt who was in charge of looking after a captured Ditto. The Rocket grunt Hiroshi thought to be the easiest job on the whole organization, not once had he run into an 11 year old child who had single handedly defeated Team Rocket not even a year ago. He was not respected enough to have his plans follow through though. So he's never messed up so badly that he'd have to come face to face with Giovanni and explain it himself. Hiroshi had it really easy. All he had to do was make sure that the Pokemon weren't too loud, that they generally were fed, on a rare occasion, if they soiled themselves, he would wipe it up with a rag. The Ditto were kept in a squaler. Hiroshi as regularly required to electrocute them if they were not silent. However, most nights, they remained silent, with only a sad humming song that resonated in the filthy hallway. Each cage, no more than 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters, and electrified mesh wire held the two Dittos. The transformation pits also held two ditto, but they were 10 by 10 feet wide to accommodate for the shape-shifting of larger Pokemon. All controlled by electrical frequencies to what all controlled by electrical frequencies as to what Pokemon they became. They all sang, one after another, and the song spread outwards. Roshi felt his eyes begin to flutter. He felt compassion for the beasts, cramped in their cages or in the transformation pits. Besides, the song wasn't unpleasant to listen to, but falling asleep on guard was a surefire way for things to go wrong. To help keep him awake, he reached for a Pokeball. When the energy was released from the ball, Narcanine padded towards him, towards its master. If you smell anything out of place, or if they try to escape, use whatever force you think is necessary. Narcanine nodded, and its large head padded down to sit next to its master. With that, Hiroshi nodded his head, and almost instantly fell asleep. By a terrible squealing and panting, his eyes bolted open in a panic. He scanned the hallway, the cages, and the transformation pits. The song had died, and its place was a horrible screeching noise, as if the ditto began to panic at once. Hiroshi had only a split second to run to the lever and flip it down before several sparking bolts seared through the wires, causing a high squeal from the confined ditto before they knew to be silent once more. But still, the whimpering and hushed language continued between them as they shuddered in their cages. The panting continued. Hiroshi stepped slowly along the aisle, looking at each single cage. The ditto stared back at him with an expression of pure fear as they shook from cold and hunger. It was the first transformation pit that he found his Arcanine, panting. From under him was a transformed ditto, in the shape that Hiroshi did not recognize. It was dog-shaped, but was black with white horns, and its head and a long, whooping tail. The ditto dog panted helplessly under the Arcanine. The searing pain of a forced transformation to an unfamiliar shape confused and distressed it. Arcanine, having a long, loud yelp before demounting the ditto dog and paddling back towards Hiroshi, jumping with offensive ease. Hiroshi himself was still in shock after he watched the Pokemon shape in front of him. He had never seen anything like it before. The ditto shape looked sickly. Many of the bones were not internal and showed the outside dog-like body. It panted again before collapsing. Hiroshi shook its head and unsheared his Pokemon away. Such strange things were not uncommon to see in transformation pit dittos. Sometimes with the different currents, the ditto changed shape into structures that only they had seen before. 
Excited by what concept of a new Pokemon, Team Rocket had tried desperately to get Ditto to stabilize into one of the new forms, but no avail. What disturbed Hiroshi, however, was the way that the Arcanine had simply mounted the poor creature. In the weeks that followed, Hiroshi took care not to release any of his Pokemon out of their balls when he was on his Ditto duty. He paid extra attention to the dark dog Ditto, who laid sprawled out in the floor of a pit, tongue lolling from its mouth, and its breathing extremely labored. Lack of food, water, and cleanliness making it look even worse than it had already. Hiroshi smirked a smile. You have the look of a doomed hound. The dog Ditto looked up and shakily stood on its four legs. What happened next astounded and scared Hiroshi for the rest of his days. The Ditto dog scrunched up his face and howled again, causing the caged Ditto to scream with terror. Hiroshi ran to one of the Poké Doctors, thinking it was a Ditto dying. Now that would be an offense to Giovanni. When they both had returned, the Ditto dog was still standing, howling inhumanely. A high-pitched squeal as its innards burst from its backside and fell into a bloody heap behind it, a large, solid mass among the awful debris. The doctor jumped onto his pen immediately, but the ditto dog had already begun to dissolve. First into a pinkish gelatinous goop, ditto had expired, but still left on the dirt of the pit was an awful and the large mass. The doctor stiffed through the awful to pick up the mass. To its surprise, it was steady in his hands, and held it up to Hiroshi. It was an egg. The egg was monitored for days on end by a scientist in Hiroshi, who took a personal interest in the big discovery, until all at once the news spread about the department and the egg was hatching. There was a big commotion at the department, as the people crowded at the small table. The egg began to snake and crack, little splinters coming from the pieces, and the dark had emerged. It was disgusting. It was gruesome. It looked evil, but it was new. A puppy, black as night with a skull seeming to be visible on its outside and its ribs protruding from its back. It was perfect. Hiroshi stepped forward, parting the crowd. His mind swimming with opportunities. If this Pokemon lived, thrived, and reproduced, then he had successfully achieved, by accident, what the scientists had been trying to do with Dittos when they were captured. He had created a new Pokemon. Its mother, Ditto, was Houndoom. And its hound, Hound Hour. The scientists nodded in silent agreement, all astonished by the events that happened before them. From that moment onwards, Hiroshi was presented before Giovanni with the Hound Hour. It was promptly put in charge of the Ditto Evolution Project. For the next two years, Hiroshi studied the Ditto in the pits, forcing them into strange, grotesque shapes with the aid of electrical current, and then forcing them to breed with a male gender of a similar-looking Pokémon. He managed to do this successfully with at least a hundred different variations of Ditto. All of them managed to birth eggs. Some eggs never hatched. Some eggs hatched and the Pokémon died within a few days. Some eggs hatched and the offspring were infertile or never evolved. But there were many. There were many eggs that hatched just like Houndour and managed to successfully evolve and rebreed. After this was successful, they had tried many Pokemon they already knew. Pikachu Dittos had a strange Minichu baby. Magmar Dittos had these stranger Minimar babies. The discovery was outstanding, but tragic as none of these offspring lived after the mother Ditto had expired, which led to the development of better medical care and gradually the Ditto could sustain more than the offspring in their lifespan. But still, the babies did not thrive. This continued for many years until word of mouth began to travel, with wealthy Pokemon collectors sporting brand new types of Pokemon, the Ditto, their eggs, and their babies were all mysteriously released in one night. And Hiroshi was found dead in the labs, his body charred beyond recognition through visual means alone. Whatever this was, it was a revolt. Whether this was a revolt from the tortured Ditto, who just so happened to escape, or whether Pokemon activists managed to infiltrate and release the Pokemon themselves is unknown. It was several years afterwards when many of these species had begun to thrive in the regions of Johto and Kanto, that an old coop living outside Goldenrod came 
home to rather shocking discoveries. A large soft egg nestled between the two Pokemon they were looking after. Rocket continued the project, however, with whatever ditto they could find. Still to this day, they are trying to manipulate them. And with a bigger gene pool than ever before, there is no end to the mutations they can force.